I'm going to start by tearing this paper lengthwise to make kind of an irregular line for the cloud formations. So once torn, I have two different types of lines that are similar, but not exactly the same. I'm going to use chalk pastels and start with the light blue, add a little bit of the regular blue and then some dark blue. And you notice I'm laying the pastels down on their side to apply the, the pastels. I really just want the dust. So using a paper towel around my finger, I'm just kind of brushing it up. And then when I pull the paper away, you have that nice crisp line. I'm going to do this the same way. I don't want the lines to be exactly parallel. I want it to be a little bit more irregular. So you can see how I'm moving the paper to the left and to the right, and then also switching back and forth between those two papers. Sometimes I don't even apply the chalk pastel like right now, and it's just a little bit of a lighter look. So the clouds are kind of fading. So I like just changing it up with this one. I added a little bit of white to it, and then I'm just reapplying from the same chalk pastel paper again. Once I'm finished with the clouds, I'm going to do the mountains. So using the rest of my paper, I'm going to create another torn edge. And this time I'm gonna do it a little bit more harsh tears, like the tops of a mountain, like a zigzag line. So instead of brushing the chalk pastel up, I'm gonna brush it down this time. So I'm turning the paper the opposite way and adding neutral colors, light brown, regular brown, maybe a little bit of black. Remember, a little bit of black goes a long way though and I'm brushing it down this time. So instead of going just towards the 12 o'clock, I'm going towards the six o'clock. So I cut out a little bit of the bottom, but you'll see it in a second. I'm doing the same thing, staggering the mountains to create some in the foreground, some in the background, and some a little bit darker than others. So I'm just brushing it down, brushing it down towards the six o'clock, the five o'clock, and the seven o'clock to get those nice lines. So there is the finished mountain, and this will be the background for your Georgia O'Keeffe skull and flower.